A West Side Church is coming together to lend its support to a man who shocked many at last night's city council meeting when he made his argument against expanding the city's human rights ordinance. Most of my life, sexually assaulting kids, I never went to jail. Because why? Kids believe me that, hey, this is all, you're all right, son. This is not possible. Okay? This happens in the homosexual lifestyle. At a service tonight, the pastor of Roy Bay's church told his congregation that people make mistakes and Bay needs to be forgiven. Channel 4's Nicole Snyder is live at Evangel Temple and was there for that statement. Nicole. He told the congregation that anyone is allowed through these church doors, and with that comes people who are hurt and need help from the church, and they are welcome inside at any time. And so tonight they prayed over him and over the situation that happened last night. After Wednesday night service at Evangel Temple, Pastor Gary Wiggins told the congregation about what happened at the city council meeting. The church did not allow cameras inside the service, but Wiggins prayed with church members for Roy Bay. Wiggins did mention there are no background checks for those walking into service, but there are for leaders, and that there are times when people who have made mistakes and are broken come into the church to be healed. While it was hard to tell church members about Roy Bay's public comment on Tuesday night, the response of prayer and forgiveness was felt throughout the sanctuary. Wiggins talked with News for Jacks earlier on Wednesday about Bay's statement that he regularly molested children and has not been arrested. We had no knowledge of his claims he made before the city council last night. In response to his claims, the church is taking appropriate actions to safeguard the families and children of our congregation. We encourage and want the police to do a full investigation serving justice as appropriate. Wiggins says Bay has worked several years as a maintenance man, but that job ended in September and that Bay and his wife still live on the church property. The church is allowing Bay in services, but with conditions. Part of that is going to be restricting uh, any contact, possible contact with uh, children and with young people. Uh, he will be allowed to come to the church services and uh, seated in an appropriate spot, which will be watched by our security. And JSO is investigating those claims that were made last night. We'll keep you updated with that investigation online and on air. I'm live, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.